Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop and time for another update. So I hate to tell you, I've been keeping a bit of a secret from you and that's a moving house. So I've been in this workshop over three years now. When I built the workshop, I definitely wasn't planning to move after just three years, but things change. There was COVID, being hundreds of miles away from family was hard. Some of them I didn't see for over a year, so I definitely want to move closer. And now I have a family member that's not very well, so I'd like to move closer. Now, I'm from Hertfordshire. It's very expensive. I can't afford to move there, but I can afford to move to Cambridgeshire, which puts me about an hour and a half from family compared to more like four and a half hours. So I spent the last few months selling tools. Some of you have noticed that I've been doing that. So the workshop is nearly empty. I've just got to get the tool wall done. Now, buying the house has been a nightmare and there's a real possibility I might have to move out of this one, put my stuff in storage for a bit. So I've actually got rid of most of my machinery and I'm gonna to have to start again, which should be interesting for some videos starting again, but it's probably not what I really wanted to do, but there's no way I was gonna to pay to store all my machinery for a bit. But it gives me an opportunity to upgrade some of the bits that I've wanted to and it will be lots of new content. So the last thing to do in here is just get all these hand tools packed away, get the signage done, give it a sweep and get it all locked up. And then I'll see you in the new house, hopefully, and show you what I'm gonna do there. So, hello everyone, welcome to the new house and let me give you a little tour. So when you come into the house, you're in the like living room, dining room area. It's been knocked through. And this is where I'm gonna be working in the meantime. So one of the first jobs I did was I got the ceiling painted and I put uh, some more lights in with some daylight temperature bulbs, which are good for filming. And you can see I've got the Christmas tree I made in the window. Now down here on the floor, I've got a bench that's come from Arbor Garden Solutions. They offered to send me a bench a few months ago, but I had no need for one. But as I got rid of mine, I said yes, because it's a chicken and egg thing. It's really hard to make a bench without a bench. Now, I know obviously you can, but this is gonna be great. And it's my next job to put this together so I can actually get started with some other projects. There would have been a couple of fireplaces in here, so there's four alcoves, so they're gonna be great for building cabinets and bookshelves in, which I'm gonna get done. And then it leads on to the kitchen, which is a bit of a mess, but it's a nice big space. Then a little corridor with a bathroom to one side, and then out into the garden. Well, not quite out into the garden. You've got this service road, and then everyone else has garages, and I have a shed that's falling down. So I think this is gonna to have to go, but I've got a nice concrete slab where you can get parking for one car, and then I think I'm gonna build a workshop here. The garden's long and thin, and you can see other people have little summer houses above the garden, so maybe I'll build something else down there as well. But at the moment, I'm not sure what the plans are. So the other thing I've got is this alleyway going down the side of the house, which is gonna be really handy for getting deliveries brought down. And you can see a lot of the other houses already have workshops or garages right at the back, so I'm the odd one out, really. So I'm in the new house and the move actually went really well, but there was a time when I was really worried that I'd have to move out and put things in storage. The chap that was buying my house had moved out of his house, was living on someone's sofa, was coming round every week, knocking on the door, not too happy that I was still there and really wanted to move in. And he was about to pull out the whole deal. So it just went through in time, but I was totally prepared to um, move out and move in with family for a bit. So I got rid of all my machinery, apart from one bit, this 1950s Star Trite pillar drill, and that I'm restoring, and there'll be a video about that soon. But everything else is gone, and I've got to start again. 
But luckily I've been contacted by a few tool companies and I've got some new bits by Trend. They've just released an 18 volt range of tools. So what I've got from them is an 18 volt router and miter saw. I've also got the shelf pin jig for an upcoming project and some abrasives because they were a product that I was genuinely using beforehand from Trend. So I've got some more of them. Oh, they've also sent me this digital angle finder. So that should come in pretty handy. So you'll definitely see these in a few projects and I might do a review of the miter saw as it's quite an interesting thing when I've used it for a bit. So first impressions of the saw is how compact and lightweight it is, which is going to be fantastic. And I'm going to get it put under this bench on a shelf. Also, because it's battery with a brushless motor, it's so quiet. I love it. So below the video, there's a link to the tools I use. And on there, I will put the Trend Miter Saw, also the router and the abrasives. So these are affiliate links. So if you click on them, it's much appreciated. Thank you. So the other bit of news is I've started a podcast with this chap that you might have heard of, Keith Brown from Rag and Bone Brown. Anyway, we've done a few episodes now, so I'll put a link down below to that if you want to check it out. We talk about woodworking and making from kind of a UK perspective, and in the future we do plan to have some guests, but we're just working through a few of the topic ideas we had already first. We've had a good response so far, and I think both of us enjoy doing it. So yeah, please have a listen if you've got time. My new lampshades are turned up, so with the daylight bulbs, I've got a really nice bright space to work now. So I hope you all managed to have a great Christmas, and I wish you a happy new year. I'm excited for the new year, because this move has given me so many projects to get on with, and I'm excited to start. So thank you for watching up to now, and I hope you'll enjoy all the new things next year. So I'm giving you this update from the new house, but I still have some videos that I filmed in the old workshop. So you're gonna to have to just bear with me for a few weeks until they're all used up. And then you'll start seeing me in the new location. So I think that's it for now. So I've certainly got lots of projects coming up, making things for the house. So thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons and please subscribe for more videos.